Happy New Year! Year! Woohoo! It's a new year. I hope that you're excited about 2022. Did you stay up late last night? Are you guys a little tired today? Yeah. A little tired. They stayed up far later than they should have, but it was a lot of fun bringing in the new year. Happy New Year to you. What if this was the closest year you've ever been to God? What if this is the year that you depended on him, that you focused on him, that you trusted him like you never have before? Well, this week, kids, you may not know this, but we've been focusing on gifts and talking about all the incredible gifts that God has given us. And so I want to take just a moment as we ring in the new year to read about some specific gifts that God has given us. This is found in Romans chapter 12. And listen to this starting in verse 6. We have different gifts according to the grace given us. So God gives us the gift of salvation. That's for everyone, right? You've accepted yeah. Jesus. You've accepted Jesus. I've accepted Jesus. And I pray that you have accepted Jesus. But it also talks in the New Testament about spiritual gifts that God makes available to us through. Who gives us those gifts? Do you know? God. God through the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Now listen and to what. Jesus. And there we go. Jesus is always the answer to every question. Yeah. Well done. Okay, here we go. Verse 7. So th these are some of the different gifts that God has given and made available to us. It says, we have different gifts according to the grace given us. If a man's gift or woman's gift is prophesying, let him use it in, propor in proportion to his faith. If it is serving, let him serve. If it is teaching, let him teach. If it is encouraging, Malia has that gift for sure. If it is too. and you yes, also you're right. If it is encouraging, let him encourage. If it is contributing or being generous to the needs of others, let him give generously. If it is leadership, let him govern diligently. If it is showing mercy, let him do it cheerfully. The Bible is clear that God gives us amazing gifts. He's given you gifts. He's given you talents. He's given you abilities. He's given you passions. And I want to challenge you as we start a brand new year. What? Yes! <laughs> what are you going to do with the gifts that God has given you? You know, this verse is so challenging because it says, if God has given you the gift of being generous, be generous this year. If God has given you the gift of teaching, teach boldly this year. If God has given you the gift of leadership, lead my prayer for you is that in 2022, that you would recognize and embrace the gifts that God has given you and that you will use them and be fruitful in this world. God has given you gifts so that you could share the love of Jesus in a bold way with the people around you. So today, spend some time thinking and praying about the gifts that God has given you and how he might use you in this coming year. We pray special blessings over you and your family in 2022. We hope to see you next week for another Daily Dose for, for Spiritual, spiritual Growth. Yeah.